Still needing some suggestions for possibly a gift or even a stocking stuffer for that DIYer, a little handy person around the house, or even someone in crafts in the gardening? I just might have the perfect little gift. I'm Rick, and this... Shut the heck up, you stinking boosters. This is a shack. Hey everybody, welcome. Yes, if you are scrambling, possibly kind of like, I'm not sure exactly what I can get, still looking for maybe that last minute gift or just a nice little gift to give somebody if they're into uh, projects, crafts, DIY home improvements, even gardening, I just might have the perfect solution. We're going to go over the WIS CW7T shears. These are part of the Crescent Weiss line now, Crescent Umbrella Corporation. Wiss has come underneath them now. Really nice little shears. I've done a review on some scissors from them. I'll link that up here. You can check that out. Still looking for an extra gift. But we're going to quickly go over these. These are the CW7T. I've used them from cutting material to tin to flashing, um, ropes, you name it. I've used them to cut and they have not failed very very nice shears so if you have anybody again into crafts great we can work perfect for some instances you may need to cut things even automotive I've cut rubber hoses with these air hoses these are a handy little tool every DIYer needs to put them in either their toolbox tool chest tool bucket whatever you got craftsperson put them in your drawer you will use them multiple times we'll just cut a few things get an idea we can't reinvent the wheel these are just what they are they can cut multiple materials quick and easy review just to give you an idea of something else possibly to buy for a gift so let's get to it these are the crescent weiss cw7t shears these are the Crescent Weiss CW10TM. These are more scissor type shears. Again, look in the description or I have a link here for the video I did on those. These may be another option for the gift. But we're going to focus on this one today. And I have cut many, many materials. Now, what's different with these right on the edge here, these are serrated. The bottom blade is serrated. The top is smooth. So this bottom kind of grips on the material as you cut and you cut through. Spring loaded, as you see. Whoops. Really nice. Locks, done. Now I've used these for gardening and here's another set and these are okay for small things, flowers. Push it a little bit sometimes on, on roses and my um, tomato plants, they, they're okay. But I tell you what, I use these to cut some small branches off my tree up to 3 8 thick. No issue at all. Just trimmed all these off the tree. I thought I'd film it real quick because I'm using these. So as you can see, these are good for trimming little branches. All these came off. I'm trying to find a big one in here again. I just don't see them, but you saw the big one there I was cutting off. These larger branches like this are no problem for it. Here's one that's pretty decent. It's a decent size. Yeah. These are good. I'm trying to all these. This one here's about a quarter inch. No problem. They're good. Cut them all up. Trimmed all those off the tree. My little tree right there. All around utility. Cheers. Even for pruning if you need them. And I said that before. Boom. Real quickly, I always ask that you would consider subscribing. And if you do, ring the ding, 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 that bell down there so you are notified when these videos do come out. 
Give it a thumbs up, like it and share. It helps the channel. Back to the video. Even gardening I would use these for. These are very, very handy. And I guarantee they're going to last a lot longer than these things. Titanium blade. They're titanium coated. They're three times stronger. Two times stronger, I should say. Now the blade goes completely through the handle. And on like the scissors, these, I don't know if these are slipped in, but you can see a line here. So they may be mold injected, but they're very smooth. And they have the rubber top here. So the bottom is plastic, but this top is rubber. So you got a very good grip and you don't have any feel that's going to slide out of your hand if it's wet. Plus you have the little notch here to get a power grip and put your finger on right there. So that even helps you can get a better grip and sometimes that will give you the leverage to maneuver depending on how you're cutting. Really nice design on these. I like that. You see these are just for your hand. There's nothing way to grip. Really not much. We're not reinventing the wheel. So they'll cut about everything and I'm going to show you just a hose. Now if you get like a radiator hose, of course it's not big enough to go around the whole thing. You probably have to cut it and then trim around to cut it. But anything up to 5 eighths just might get in there fit. But these, I'm not pushing hard, I'm just letting it slide. Smooth cut, very smooth cut. Trim it, boom. Nice cut. I showed that the scissors cut my tactical belt. This is a tactical belt. Heavy duty. This is an eighth of an inch thick, easy. I actually used these to trim it down, and I used the other scissors, and they cut right through this. But again, it's just so nice. Don't even press them hard, just easy. And it, that is a nice cut. I mean, it just shears it very, very nicely, smooth. It's not all fraying out weird, nothing. They're not dull, they're very good quality blade that cuts them. I've even used these on metal. I can't remember what it was I cut. I filmed it, but unfortunately I screwed something up and I deleted the bunch of videos and I deleted the wrong ones. And I had a lot of these already done, so I'm going to have to redo some of it. But flashing, especially like roofing, you're putting the vents up, uh, exhaust vents for in the bathroom area and stuff. Use these to trim around. I was doing some work in my house, did some flashing. No issue. Trims right through these. Kind of going back, back ass words here. <laughs> but you get the idea. I mean, cuts through that like there's no tomorrow. Easy. So I cut through flashing. I'll cut through. This, this would be, this is even heavier than your strap material, just to give you an idea. If you don't know what a tactical belt does, that is very thick. So if you want to cut the material for like you're hauling something, you need a, strap it down you got that big thick strap this is thicker than that stuff and it goes right through it goes through hoses again airlines for trucks uh, airlines for your air tools automotive hoses they'll cut through that craft material cardboard tin um, flashing material no no issue these are nice little shears that will handle all that with no problem at all. The only thing I can really compare these two are these that I have. These will definitely handle thicker because they are made for that. But I, I really, it, these, there's not even an edge. And these are so dull now. I'm glad I have these because these, I work 90% of the time. If it's much thicker metal, then I will use this depending but most of the time I can use this now for the most part whatever you put in front of this it will cut crescent y cw70 shears these can cut a variety of materials a vast vast variety good little things to have doesn't matter if it's automotive flashing material gardening I, I, I've used them for everything and they've not failed me yet so they are a definite good handy Shear to have in your toolbox, tool belt, tool bucket, tool whatever. <laughs> in the drawer, in the house, in your drawer, in your desk for crafts. Whatever it is needs to be cut, more than likely, these can do the job. With that said, thank you so much for watching. Be blessed. Take back a check. Build it for your sanity.
Thanks again for watching. We will see you next video.